So, bro, tell me how a barber can yeah. make more than $20,000 a month. Bro, $1,000 a day is effortless. For me, it's $200 haircuts five times in a day. Most barbers are like, oh, you don't charge $200. There's no way. And I just made an Instagram post, and it got like 600K views. And it's mostly because of the like hate comments. Yeah. <laughs> it went viral. Yeah. And uh, I said that this quote from uh, Tesla, he said, when you think of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And then I said, you're still stuck at $40 a haircut because you're around people who do $40 haircuts. And everyone in the comments is like, oh, no haircut should cost 200 yeah. you know? And they don't realize that we're in America where if you give the most service, you're going to get the most in return. It's not wrong, good or bad, to make money. So for me, a barber making 20 k a month is because he gave that much to the marketplace, you know? Very simple business, but most barbers don't think this way. For sure, for sure. Okay, but like, how did you even see it in your own head? Yeah. Because like most people can't break past that. Most people in areas that have way more leverage than a barber can't see past that bro i told you before this last clip that like a hundred dollars a day as a barber for me was the epiphany like damn i can make a hundred dollars in one day yeah. off of twenty dollar haircuts yeah. i just add a zero <laughs> it just took me a couple years but i add a zero yeah, yeah you know yeah. simple math for sure so that's when i first saw it i made a hundred dollars and i was like god was telling me like go ahead bro follow this passion you have you, you love this yeah. it's gonna be fruitful for you 100 percent. but bro like okay Who's paying 200 bucks for a haircut? Civilians, believe it or not. Civilians. <laughs> Regular yeah. civilians, bro. Yeah. So, again, it just comes down to giving the value. And I had a personal brand. So, no, most barbers don't have 100,000 Instagram followers. They don't post content every day that showcases, like, a hair problem. Yeah. Like, a, like a receding lineup or a patchy uh, beard. Okay. So, if you say, like, yo, if you have this problem, here's how I solve it. And you show a whole process. And the, after the, the cut, you show a video. And the client's, like, shaking his head, nodding, happy. The person sees that and they're like, okay, if I want this problem solved, I'm going to go to the guy who will solve it. Damn, dude, that's fucking huge, bro. Because especially, like, yeah, man, as a dude that's losing his hair, I could definitely say, <laughs> like, yeah. like, bro, like, yeah, dude, you will pay for those barbers that can clean up your shit. 100%. 100%. It's a problem. It's a, yeah. you're, you're solving a problem. Yeah. And that's how, if you want to make more money, what do you got to do? You got to solve a problem. You got to solve a problem. Right now, I'm solving yeah. bigger problems. I'm teaching yeah. barbers not only how to make 20K a month, but then once you do that with me, I got top students who are 20 years old who are making that much, and now I'm teaching them how to teach others, solving an even bigger problem. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so walk us through that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. as of last week, I just made a pivot in my business to coach the best students in my program. I've been doing coaching for a few years now, but a year specifically of like all in, retired barbering. I haven't done a haircut in like 15 months. Got so it. straight coaching, you know, for the last yeah. year, year and a half. Okay. And, uh, Made a pivot, and in the last, I just showed you guys the screenshots. I'll just show, show you again so you can read the numbers. In the last, uh, in the last 24 hours, it's the close. First guy to show the proof. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. You can just run through the stripe and kind of read through numbers as you see them. Okay. And you can refresh the screen so you know it's like not screenshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, this is legit. I just hit the refresh. Yeah. So today he's done 26.2 thousand. To that was in the last what? Uh, this is from. Oh shit. You know what? Actually, all time. Yeah, listen, that, look, that sound real good. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, here it is. 10 Today it was 10.1. 10.1K. Yesterday it was 14.1. Uh, that's all lets me go back, but he's for real. He's 100%. It. That's yeah. straight through Stripe. This is the one processor, but yeah. I have a school group. So we channel everybody into our school group. One's free. Yeah. And the, the student that did the 10K today. He started in the free group in January okay. and he's like, bro, I just got 10K followers. This shit works. I want to like, what's your mentorship? How do I join it? Yeah, yeah. Like he was in the free group and got that. So he sends me a DM okay. and wants to join the paid one. Yeah. So that's how it starts. Really? So he reached out to you guys. Yeah. Interesting. From free, from free game that he applied and took the, Yeah. it doesn't work unless you work. So if you're arrogant, stupid, or lazy, this won't work for you. You have to put your ego aside and be like, all right, something's not working for me because I'm broke at $40 haircuts doing 3 k a month. I can't help my parents, my family, my chick, nothing. Let me find somebody who knows this shit like the back of their hand and pay them or at least use the free stuff. Most of you guys are too arrogant to apply the free game so that when you pay, it won't work. You got to pay to pay attention, right? So most people just, they ain't going to go nowhere because they don't pay. How many clients do you have total now? Coaching clients, high ticket. Yeah. I'll show you the, the school group just so you can read it off. It's like 50 or 60. Let me see. Okay. How um, many of those are in like the paid? Right here. Active 55. 55 members active okay. right here. Okay, cool. How many of those but, are in the paid, on the paid side? Yeah, so about five of those are admin. I just realized like uh, our setter closer, I think, is in there. Community uh, success coach. 
So like 50 students have paid anywhere from like two, three, four, five, six to now 10K for coaching. <laughs> this shit sounds crazy, bro. I never thought I'd be doing 10K coaching for like barber coaching. I, I didn't know that was possible. I know. So, so okay, uh, like walk us through your, your entire funnel. So like, yeah. all right, so, so there's a dude that's a barber. He's yeah. not feeling it. He feels like he can do more. He yeah. finds your Instagram. 100%. What happens after that? Yeah. Okay, so today we just uh, we closed Mario on the coaching other barbers program right so yeah. he was the one i mentioned blessed by mario shout out to blessed by mario i told him i would shout him out on the podcast today oh, there so we go. yeah shout out to blessed by mario so here he is he's a barber in texas okay, okay. and he's 20 years old he makes 10 11 12k a month from 75 dollar haircuts so he's able to make that much and work less hours he used to charge like 40 whatever 50 yeah. and so in just a few months we raised his price his income went up there you go. That's his price raise right there. And uh, yeah, again, he's 20 years old. So yeah. like he doesn't have much bills. Yeah. He's able to save up. Right. And he's the one who got 10K followers in our free group. Now he has 25. Okay. This is in just like a few months. Sim wow. Simply from organic viral content. So we'll take videos like barber videos. This one got 270K right here. Maybe he gets like, you know, 500 followers from that. Whatever. But we're posting every day videos that go viral and solve like hair problems. So he sends me a DM and he's like, yo, bro, 10K followers in the last month. This is crazy. Like what you're teaching is working for me, bro. How do I join? I get him on a call and, you know, the frame and a sales call is like, I don't need you. You need me. Like, yeah. OK, let's dig into that a little bit. Yeah. So how are you setting up that frame, bro? Yeah. Like yeah. even though he said yeah. that he basically said he wanted to join. Yeah. I'm still framing it like, bro, I don't know if you're a good fit. Yeah. I still need to find that out. I'm not just going to jump on. I'm all excited, man. Let's yeah. here's the payment link. No, why, why do you set it up like that? On the call, he was very excited. And uh, I know emotion is important and all that for sales. But I've had calls in the beginning where I was so excited that I'm sending them the link too early and they're like not matching my energy. Yeah. So I realized the most calm one is the one who can like control the frame. So he's all excited and like, wow, wow. And instead of matching him, I know they teach that in sales. It's good. But for me, it was like, that's what's up, bro. I'm glad you're getting results. But the people I work with, they ain't just like, you know, here and there, whatever. They're serious, bro. So I need to see that first. And then I just went through the entire script that we have as if I was not sure if he was a good fit, you know, which in my mind I knew. Like, yeah, this kid's going to be a great fit. <laughs> Fucking no, yeah, 100%. Beast. That makes sense because then you're raising the perceived value of your program, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. So, so it's like an interview. Uh, my, my closer now, he teaches me to, to label it as like a screening call. Like we're screening you to see if you're going to fit the other members that are getting results. I like that interview yeah. process, screening call, whatever. Right. But that's that was step two. He joins this program and then I get to work with him one on one. So it's a six month mentorship and it's we've increased the price to 6K. Who knows what it'll be when people are watching this. But yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> click the link and buy oh, yeah. uh, just being real, you know, because yeah. it, it, it's a. Uh, it's a hundred modules in the program. Oh shit. When we started, there was like 10 yeah. and it was like two calls a week, one call a week. Now we have five calls a week, yeah. an hour long. And I'm on every single one, yeah. you know? So on the sales call, I'm telling them that like, bro, most coaches out there, they're going to throw you in the community. Yeah. They're not really going to be in there that much. You're going to talk to somebody else. For sure. I'll let them know like, bro, I'm, I love this shit. I do this shit. I'm not just like trying to create a, co a program that like eats itself and has a bunch of coaches coaching others inside there and you're not touching it. Yeah. So I, uh, I I know the price will increase because of that. My time is going to be more and more valuable. For sure. Especially if we keep having 10K days, you know, yeah. more new students that need me one-on-one because yeah. those are one-on-one. So, yeah, yeah man, the, the, the price is 6K now. Uh, so Mario will come in there. He'll scale his prices, his income, and then he'll get to a point where he's like, all right, Joel, like there's, there's some more purpose that I'm, I'm searching for. Like God's calling me to do a little more. Not just trade my time for money, cut hair, and uh, you know, even a hundred dollars a cut doesn't feel good anymore. And then we have two routes, bro. We can either just keep scaling this up, all right, bro. We're gonna go to 150. From there, you can make a thousand dollars a day. Then we're gonna go to 200. Like that's what I did. I went to 200 a cut. Right. And I was in LA. But even that wasn't fulfilling. The most fulfilling thing we can do is be the best version of ourselves. Take the time away from trading our time for money and pour that into our own cup. And once you become the best version of you, then now you can coach others. So he's already ready. He's 20 years old, but he has a demand like no other 20 year old in the barber game because he's so charismatic and people just see the light in him. 
he's Latino too, so he has like the Latino community that I personally just didn't tap into, you know? Yeah. So now he's ready to coach others. So I give him this, the same script I'm using on the sales call to close him previously in the program. Yeah. I'm giving it to him now. And I'm saying, bro, you're about to go run the play now yeah. and coach other barbers the same way I coached. I'm not greedy. Like, right. I got an abundance mindset, bro. I know it's coming for me because I'm constantly improving myself. For sure. So the, the vehicle I'm in, podcasting and sales, for me, it's like coaching and sales. Yeah. They all go together. That's a very lucrative path, you know, so 100%. combining with personal development. Yeah. So, yeah, now I give him every resource, the setting script, the closing script. And he's just paying me to guide him and give him all these resources. And instead of taking a year bumping his head, blood, sweat, and tears like I just did in the last 15 months, like 60-hour, 80-hour work weeks, bro, I just lived this shit. Yeah. You know, and a lot of sales calls, like hundreds of them, I, I flopped. Like I was too nervous. I didn't know what to say. Now I take all those re recordings, give him access to that, and say, here, don't do this. Do this. Use these. Do this. Say this. Once you do that, boom. Now you're going to raise your price to here. Boom. We're going to get your first five, your first 10 clients. Now you're making 20K from coaching. If you want to cut hair anymore, it's up to you. Maybe you just cut hair two days a week, whatever. So for the few people, we got four people at this offer. We're taking five to do the uh, coaching other barbers offer. Okay. Yeah. In the last two days, we closed. That's crazy. We closed uh, four people. Two of them were piffs, 10K, and the other two put like a couple down, 50, 15K down. But uh, that's the funnel, bro, like from start to finish. Wow. Dude, that's so interesting. Okay. So, I mean, you've. I definitely want to dig deeper into like some parts of that for sure. We're going to come back to it. But all right, so you've now become the coach's coach. Yeah. What's next for you, bro? What's like, next for me, bro, is like retiring my mom. I've been trying to do that for like the last year. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I did it a little too early yeah. and just wasn't ready. I knew I wasn't ready, but I was like, bro, I love to jump. Yeah. Like if there's water right here, I'll just jump off this, do a back <laughs> I just, especially yeah. the ocean, that'd be yeah. fire. Yeah. Since I was a little kid, I just loved jumping like and risk taking, you know? Yeah, I, feel I was like the that. motherfucker in the friend group that would just like do the wildest shit like, yeah. and try to encourage others to do it too. Like, like your parents would be like, don't hang out with Joe. If Joe jumps off a bridge, are you going to do it? Yeah. I'm the guy yeah. that's jumping off the bridge that they're talking about. So I'm serious. Like when I was like in eighth grade, we used to find bridges and jump into the river. This is nothing to do. Sure. So what's next for me is more risk, bro. I'm going to like, as soon as I have enough, I'll buy a Lambo cash, a Cullen in cash. Like I'll get the biggest penthouse I can get. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not going to settle yeah. because now I realize that it's not a flex. It's not wrong to have money, to use your money. Like I used to have that paradigm. I had to break free from it, you know? A lot, a lot more risks, bro. And I'm going to yeah. leverage it all for this purpose of showing barbers. And, bro, it's like this exact business model is your way out. It's very lucrative as a barber in 2024. It's actually cool to be a barber now. Like it used to not be, you know, if uh, you do it right. Yeah. So and then I'm going to show you how once you do it right, you're going to accidentally build a following. From that following, you can now monetize that. And I have to cut hair anymore. 100%. How many barbers do we know that can benefit? So many, so dude. many. Yeah. yeah, I was in Cali. I had like six, seven different barbers. Mm. I don't even know this existed. Six, seven barbers, bro. Yeah, man. I guess right. I'd be going around because we'd I'd be in like Irvine, different yeah. cities like Forest. Okay, no, we used to work in Forest. Yeah, this or, dude, uh, I'd see him with like a new fade every single day. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Priorities are straight, man. Yeah. I've, are straight. I've never seen this dude sideburns ever. Never, never. Bro. Dude's always cut off. That's what's up. 100. Uh, yeah. yeah. It affects your performance, like. We, we teach our students to say that on their Instagram story, like, yeah. hey, bro, you're not closing. You're not getting that new job offer you want because look, look at the mirror, bro. You ain't had a cut in two weeks. Come through. You know, so we even good. teach them sales for, for haircuts, you know. Yeah. Oh, during the cut? Yeah. Like like like, like on their Instagram story, you know how most time when you're selling a high ticket offer, you're going to sell on your reels, but also really on your stories where you say, like, I got five spots left. Boom, boom, boom. For sure. We're doing the same thing for your haircuts. Okay. We're going to be like, you know, bro, she ain't looking your way because let's be real. <laughs> Like, look at your beard, bro. You look homeless. Like, come through. I got two slots left this this today. Once these are filled, that's it, bro. Yeah. Like, you want to get on a date this weekend, you can't pull up looking like this, and you're just telling your Instagram. So It's probably the most effective sales pitch of all time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. God damn. Okay. You want to get paid, and then want to get laid. <laughs> yeah, 100%, bro. Okay, so let's cycle back to, like, okay, let's say you're a, a new barber start, starting out, man. So, like. What are those? What do those guys have to do to raise their prices from fifty bucks right now to a hundred? Like, what's the marketing, the sales that they got to do to get there? Yeah. So first off, it's not the best. It's the best known barber that wins. So many barbers message me. They'd be like, Ah, I like this program and stuff, bro. Let me work on my craft first. Yeah. Once I get my beard line, I'm like, Bro, you'll figure that shit out. When when you accidentally get a million views, you'll be like, Damn, look, there's a thousand hate comments. I'm gonna get better now. Don't worry about because if you're unknown and you just get the best. Congrats, bro. Like you're just like every other like 
in the back of the barbershop, there's like the OG barber who's just yapping about how good he is. But he's still charging 40, making like a, a K a week. And his parents, his kid wants that new bike for Christmas. And he's like, I can't get it for you, son. <laughs> you know, like you're broke, bro. Just get known. So step one is get known. Like build a brand online as fast as you humanly can. And then from there, you solve a problem. How we mentioned earlier, the beard line, the, the hair line. You, you explain how other barbers cut your hair like a robot and push that shit back farther than it needs to be. Turn your forehead to a five head. I'm going to keep that in consideration for you and give you a ghost lineup. You know, instead of pushing that back, I'm going to leave it natural. Right. And then I have a wave treatment or whatever process you do that's yeah. unique. Just like a coach has a unique mechanism, yeah. like follow our social growth hack funnel, whatever funnel. A barber has a unique mechanism as well. For sure. Whether it's like their hot towel shampoo service that you do, yeah. they do it in some different way with essential God. oils or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you market yeah. that and you become known for that. So for me, it was like waves. People who had like the wave haircuts. I had this foam and this do-rag and this heat blow dryer and hand massager process. It took me 10 minutes to do, but bro, it took my shit tonight. No barber at the time was doing this like four or five years ago. So I became known for the guy who does the do-rag wave treatment. That was my unique mechanism. So this is game right here. You have to have a unique angle on why you're different. Different is better than better. And the best known will beat the best every time. Those two things is the secret. Dude, that's such good advice, bro. Such good advice. It's not about, dude, I just want to go back to what you said there. So you said it's not about like who's the best, who's the best known. Yeah. That's so huge, bro. Okay. So, so these guys have to basically do something different, mm -hmm. change the game and somehow, and then post about it. Yeah. How often they post? Every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now they gain a following. Are you teaching them to try to do outreach and set appointments through their DMs or are they just letting stuff come to them? Yeah, bro. When I was, doing, I would wake up to two hundred dollars haircuts every day. Oh, so everything just yeah. coming in. So I was, okay. I was twenty three. I made seven hundred k barbering in like a few years. That's yeah, at, at twenty three, I was making twenty eight k, and then by twenty five, I retired completely. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Control, so now I'm twenty seven, yeah. and I'm doing those numbers in two days coaching. Yeah. So it's like, it starts off a hundred dollars, and I'm excited. Then it's like thousand dollars. I'm excited. Then it's like oh, ten k. I'm excited. You know. The numbers, it's just a game, bro. You keep adding zeros. But as far as what they need to do, yeah, it's just exactly that process. Okay. Okay, got it. So so they, by doing that, they can get to 100, 200 bucks a cut. So then the next step after that is what? Now they got to become a coach, really. Yeah, I mean, bro, if you, if you want to take the limit, the ceiling off of your earning potential, you're not going to do that with haircuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're trading your time for money. Bro, I've done $1,000 haircuts before. Like yeah. receipts and all that to prove it. Like I'll be on uh thousand wait, hold up, hold up, thousand dollar haircuts? For one haircut, and it was really a lineup, like a fifteen minute lineup. What's but cool? yeah. So you when like toast <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Multiple times too. But uh hip hop artist like Tusi, if you heard of him, he's he's pinned on my IG. But uh anytime you're on a production movie set, you can just budget the uh or invoice the label, like oh. music label, and say this is my grooming budget, this is or out of your grooming budget, this is my uh, daily, my daily rate, you know, for when I go on set okay. and they have the budget. They, they probably have more than you're even getting. You have to be really, yeah. you have to like know some sales low key yeah, yeah, and how yeah. to handle that. For sure. But, uh, I was able to get a thousand for a haircut, but that's, that's as high ticket as it gets as a barber. Like you're not going to go hundred K months. Yeah. No barber. One of my students, uh, he wants to drive a Rolls Royce. And, uh, I told him like, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be a coach, bro. Cause he's like, he's like, yeah, like I ain't going to do that from cutting hair. I'm like, let's go, bro. You know, it's time. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's the next level. Unless you want to do something like real estate or something, bro. I, I don't have any interest in shit like that. Like for sure. Yeah, real estate. Yeah, yeah. None of that really? shit. Well, why, bro? I mean, you this got all that money coming lame in. Lame as hell. <laughs> yeah. I don't got bro. I'm 27. I, I, I want to be a millionaire by like now, yesterday, I today. Feel, okay. Okay. So, so like, what are you going to do with the cash now? With the cash I make from coaching? Yeah, where are you investing? Bro, oh <laughs> the penthouse, the, the Lambo, the Cullinan. That's not making you money, though. Oh, that's what they try to teach you. Like in college, too, they teach you this. That, uh, college is designed to make perfect workers, you know? So that's the mindset. They'd be like, uh, you know, when you get your money, make sure you get a 401k and invest it. Oh, no, no, I'm not about that. I'm just saying, like, why yeah. would you not put it back in the business somehow? Yeah, so this is the angle, right? It is in the business. That, that when I post it on my Instagram, I get 100 comments awesome. from people who would have never commented before or dm me before yeah. and i get what one sale and it pays for the monthly payment of the the rolls royce i right. see what you're saying okay, okay so you buy it it's like a it's, a, it's asset for the business give more attention 
it's bro attention is currency best known wins if i'm the barber coach that doesn't have a cullen and lambo in a penthouse do you want to buy from that guy or the guy who gets it bro watch this play it back in a few months when i move in and i pull pull this move because because imagine if i put it into ad spin bro i don't know about you but ad spin isn't exciting to me pulling <laughs> pulling up to the gym ripped it would have box like knock someone the fuck out yeah. with a 10 wife girlfriend whatever and I got the Cullen in. That's exciting, bro. I want to buy from that guy. I don't want to buy from the guy who was frugal, <laughs> did the safe thing. Ad, ad spend, I can get a logical return. And if I spend 10K on ads, I should be able to get 300 leads. Like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> bro, if I buy the Cully, bro, the whole barber industry is going to be like, damn, this the guy that went, whoa, what's he selling? I want to be his student. The whole barber industry wants to drive Rolls Royces. They want to be like rappers. They listen to rap all day in the barbershop. Makes sense. It's actually a smart play. Yeah, yeah, I went to the Louis store, bro, and I spent my first ever Louis purchase on the yeah. Louis belt, the shoes, and what was the other thing I bought? It's the shades. Shades, yeah. It was twenty five hundred, bro. Best twenty five hundred I spent. That I've I've spent like fifteen, twenty k in ads. Yeah. That shit. I'm just not that interested in it, bro. I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> because, bro, like, that's the, that's the purchase. That's the one where I said that. Yeah. Think of the universe. Think in terms of energy, frequency, vibration. You're stuck at forty dollars because you're surrounded by people who charge $40. And I'm holding the Louis bag as I'm saying it, bro. 800 comments about the Louis isn't real. Uh, the, the, the bag is empty, it's not even in there. The other 100 are like, oh, but you're getting into an Uber though, bro. Like, just like, bro, it's so much free publicity. That is my ad spend in a way, you know? Yeah. Starting off with Louis and stuff, but I'm gonna graduate to the big boy, yeah, purchases. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, but no real estate, bro, fuck a real estate. I ain't got 40 <laughs> years to cash in on my once the it goes up in value over time and all that, dude, I'm I'm with you there though. Like I'm not a big fan of real estate. I would do a business though. Like I'd find some like a business that I could like cash flow something. I'd rather have that fast like money coming in yeah. than than like just buy a piece of real estate and have it sitting. Last the last part of the, the same shit. Yeah, yeah. The last part of the model the uh, funnel is masterminds. We're gonna yeah. we've done three masterminds this year. The last one we had two penthouses. We had two yachts. So all the students flew in. Yeah. We vlogged it. Everything. It was fire. We did student interviews, success okay. interviews okay. on the yachts and the penthouses, had people come and do trainings like people I've met at the gym who are making like millions. Like they just uh, like basically said, I'll, I want to be a part of it. You know, how can I come? And I'm like, bro, if you came to speak, they would be grateful. Yeah. So we did that. And the penthouse is going to be a write off. OK, okay. there we so go. Yeah, it's yeah, in the yeah. it's in the works. But, yeah, you know, the, I'm, that's the real estate investment. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's rent. You know, it's not like I'm going to own it. Yeah. I could, I guess, work on that. But. I'm gonna get a, a second LOC that rents I rent from. That is a what do they call it? A uh, event space. Yeah. You know. Got it. Got it. Okay, so then cool. I rent out from yeah. the company as an event space, yeah. and we have to host a monthly mastermind now in order to run it right off. But there it is. Yeah, there it is. How much okay. you get charged for the mastermind? That's a good question, bro. That's a good question. We've been telling people that if they just join the program, they're the only ones that get access. In the future, it'll probably have to be paid as it grows you know gotcha, gotcha. yeah but right now it's been free you know, I, I expected invites that mastermind <laughs> let's go we'll get on that we'll do a podcast number two <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's, yeah, get let's, let's get it let's get it let's get it let's run 100 percent. all right, right. Bro, so so um is is that the future of that next step because it, it seems like a lot of people are doing that now where they're all right so they, they did their business they did well in their business then they did the coaching program and then they elevated that in some way kind of like you did so now you're a coach's coach and then now they're doing events. That mm. seems to be like the yeah. trajectory. Yeah. So um, what do you, what's your take on that, man? I think the events prove that you're real because AI and all this stuff is taking over now Yeah. to where you could have a chat bot, a fucking setter or whatever. People are starting to get skeptical about like, oh, it's another guy selling the course. For sure. But when I post an event and we're on two yachts and two penthouses in Miami Brickle yeah. with 20 of our six most successful students that flew in and they're bragging like, yo, he just changed my life, bro. Three months ago, I was making 3K, now I'm making 8K. Right. This is crazy, like, yeah. I'm so glad to be here. And we're just like living life, hitting the gym together. We're all getting ripped. Oh, there we go. And we're, it's the whole top to bottom, how, how we run the program. Okay. And uh, to me, that that's the program I would want to be a part of, where it's not like a bunch of dudes on laptops yeah. meeting on Zoom calls. When I see that shit, it's like, oh, this is real. It's a community, you know? And uh, everyone's like Zoom, we make everyone turn their Zoom, their screen on when they're on the Zoom call, yeah. interact, you know, you don't just jump in there and there's 400 people with their screen black. For sure. So yeah, yeah as far yeah. as far as your question though, yeah. 100% bro, in-person events, 
to me are like the future because there's a lot of people going to be coaching now, but not everybody is really like a inspiring person in real life. Dude, it's going to expose a lot of people, man. Yeah. There's a lot of dudes that are coaches out there that really don't know their shit. Yeah, 100%. A lot of them, man. So, yeah, no, but I, I see this being a massive opportunity. Bro, like, the sky's the limit with this because, like, whatever you're coaching for or whatever you're charging for, like, the current coaching program you got, for those events, you can probably double, triple. 100%. 100%. We got footage of all of them, the previous ones now, too, so we can use that as the, the marketing. And, and, bro, you just build your way up in everything in life. Like, yeah. start it for free, then you can get some, some leverage, then you use that and you do yeah. Okay. I just want to say something too to like the audience. Those like events, they might be the most valuable thing you ever do. Like straight up, because like you get around people that are better than you, and you actually go see them. Because dude, back in your hometown, those people do not exist. You have your mom, your dad, and you have one successful dude that you walk by every couple of weeks, and that's a wrap. And then you go and you get to meet people that are more successful in what you're doing. Yeah. It changes your mindset, bro. Yeah. You, f- you forget, like you stop seeing like where your life ends and you start seeing where it begins as soon as you get around those people. It's the, it's the best investment you can make. 100%. Yeah. yeah, getting around the people that are doing what you want to do. 100%, bro. Dude, it, it, like it happened for us. Like, so we went to Daniel G's mastermind. Daniel um, G? Yeah, yeah, you know that guy? Fuck yeah. yeah. I went yeah. to his uh, his sales event. Was it a few months ago? Is that the one? No oh, shit. Oh, In wait. Miami? Yeah. Yeah, bro, we were there. Oh, sick. That's March crazy. 30th. March 30th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You remember the exact day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, That's the day everything changed or what? Bro, he's, he's autistic with numbers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know the dates everything. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. No, but keep going, bro, because it's true. Yeah, so so this was this was actually before that event. So he had a mastermind on a yacht in Miami. I was living in California, which was cool, but like I just felt like I was slowing down. There was nobody that was like hustling around me and i went there and dude i just got fucking fired up he remembers because we used to work at the same spot i came back to work and i made like 300 calls the next day for the next like 30 days as soon as i was back bro because i was just so fucking fired up like it just changed my mindset changed my like it changed my vision my mindset and what like i had to do on a daily basis to make it damn and then three months later we're out in miami started my own business so you ran you ran it up 300 calls a day i mean damn yeah yo dude i was just trying to build the skill bro yeah Yeah, so yeah i just ran it up man wow Uh, like like as he said right um when you're getting around people that have results that you want uh that's what that's what's gonna have that paradigm shift that you talked about because we were around when you're in your hometown around your family your parents they all their information is from the system and they don't have the results that you want. So this is like the biggest deal you got to make. Like it's changed our life and our life is just going faster and faster. By the week. Hell yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, I love living here. Yeah, dude, like it, it really opened, like what it did for me too was show you how scalable everything is. Just like he was a barber and then now he's coaching barbers and more. Like it did the same exact thing for us. Like we're, we were just sales reps and now we're everybody's sales reps. Yeah. Now we're selling for everybody. Yeah. Like you can scale whatever your skill That's is. That's a great point. To whatever it is, I mean that's the benefit of the digital. A age, high bro. income skill can be transferred. Yeah. So no matter where you go in life. Hundred percent, bro. Hell yeah. 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 But dude, all right. So like you've been on a crazy journey, man. Obviously. So like what what's like the number one thing that you would tell yourself if you were just starting? Oh, bro, take the fucking risk. Like the best thing I ever did was jump, and I've been taking such big risks that it, like makes my head hurt. Like I'm like, How, what the hell is this going to turn into? And uh, the biggest one I ever took was a one-way flight to California when I was 20. I told my mom, she started crying. She's like, oh, where are you going to go? What's your plan? And I'm like, mom, I, fuck, God's got a plan. I don't got a plan. I just know I got to go. Yeah. So if I didn't do that, bro, I wouldn't have done any of this. And uh, every time I've took a risk, whether it be, I mean, 100K in coaches. Let me just say that. I've spent 100K. I've invested $100,000 of my own hard-earned money, most of it was barber money, now coaching money, into other coaches. Like 75 here, 7,500 here, 8K here, 30K here to one coach for a year of his one-on-one time, 8,800 to my sales guy. You know, like you name it, bro. When they present the, here's the payment, bro. I'm never the guy who's like shying away from paying up, bro. And that's why when they see my invoice, I attract the same thing because you got to be the customer that you wish to attract. If I could give you one thing, it's be their best client to your other people. Like to anybody, to the waitress when she gives you that good service. Bro, don't walk out there and give her a dollar tip, bro. You're going to leave with the the energy of the guy who gives a dollar tip, bro. You want to walk in there and be like, 
the most generous, you know? And so that would be my, my biggest advice is take risks and don't hold on to the, the money you think you have now because you don't need that. You need to change. Like these guys, 300 cold calls a day is a cold calls. Yeah. Damn, bro. That You weren't worried about the money. You said skill. Yeah. I was trying to build a skill. Yeah. So, that, I mean, I love that. That's the advice I would give as well is like who you are right now probably isn't ready for what you're asking for. So give up the money to become the version of you who is. Because if I skimped out on all the mentors, the 100K, I wouldn't be able to demand 10K. I tell these barbers I'm on the call, like, bro, I spent 100K. I'm about to teach you everything I got from the 100K in this 10K. And they're like, damn, that's a good deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I mean it. I'm going to give you everything. They don't own the information. They got it from someone else. Right, right, I'm about right, to die right. one day. I'm, I'm not going to hold on to this shit. It's yours. And yeah. then you pass it on. 100%. It's just a straight abundance that flows, bro. Money is like a current. You're not supposed to hold it. And if you do hold it, you know, all your fears and doubts. My favorite quote, Earl Nightingale, he says, money, or he says, uh, our fears and doubts are traitors that make us lose the good we might often win by fearing to attempt. So I hear I listen to that every night and I'm like, damn, bro, every fear, every doubt, those are what rob you of riches. He got that from Napoleon Hill. Think and grow rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, before you can get riches, you have to clear your mind of the fear, doubt, and worry. So many people, bro, I see it every day. They're ready to join the program. <laughs> and then they've never took the first bet on themselves in their life. Yeah. Ever. And I'm like, bro, I don't have any empathy for your situation. You live at home. You're whining about your 3K a month income and how it's not enough to pay for the program. Right. Well, what? That is the risk, staying there. You're a fucking loser. That's true. Yeah. You've done nothing. That's that's where it goes back to sales leadership because someone's got to coach that dude because, yeah, he's never taken a risk, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, so he's holding on to the, well, I have enough, but what what if, like, it doesn't work? And then, yeah. bro, you live at home. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to live under a bridge, bro. Get some canned chicken. Go to the gym. Get your mind right. Get to the shop. You got an iPhone. Make the videos. Listen to the calls on the Zoom. I'm going to tell you the way. I'll edit the video for him. I'll be like, here, give me the video. I'll edit. It's going to go viral. Just just make the video. You do your part. I'll, like, they'll still have fear, doubt, and worry. They haven't cleared their mind in order to replace it with riches. Like Napoleon Hill says, your cup is filled with fear, doubt, and worry. You can't, the riches can't come in yet. So I say all that to say, like, yeah, be the version of you. Do whatever it takes to become the version of you who's ready for that abundance to come. And when it comes, it'll come so fast. You'll be like, damn, where's it been my whole life? I just made 24K in 24 hours. Yeah. Where the fuck was that at a few years ago when I was in debt and worried and shit? Like, and, that, and then everybody's going to tell him he's a one-night success, overnight success. In 24 hours, yeah. Like, oh, wow, that was, that was you did it. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. It's amazing yeah. to come up. Yeah. yeah, but you don't know what, like, how much work you put in on the back end to make that happen in one day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%, bro. It's crazy. Dude, that's that's awesome advice, bro. Honestly, man, I feel, I feel like we should leave it on that. One hundred percent. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. That's you're it. the man. Thanks that's for coming it. on, bro. Love. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah.